All right, question number five. Find the range of values of x for the quadratic inequality. So they give you the quadratic inequality, negative x squared less than 1 over 2, x minus 1. So we're going to expand it first. So we get 1 over 2x minus 1 over 2. Bring all to one side. I get negative x minus 1 over 2x plus 1 over 2 less than 0. So to eliminate this negative and also to make this all become whole number, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole thing, multiply by negative 2. Okay, so I will get um, I will get 2x square plus x minus, uh, sorry, no x, is 1. Then, because I'm multiplying negative value, right, so this sign must change. So you get more than 0. Okay, so now we can um, factorize this. We can first change this to equal first. Okay, change it to equal sign, equal 0, then you factorize first. So when you factorize, you should get x plus 1, 2x minus 1, okay? So from here, we know that x equals to negative 1, x equals to 1 over 2. Now, we draw our, okay, we draw this. So this side here should be negative 1, here should be uh, 1 over 2. So since this is more than, more than means which side? That means it's going to be here and here. Correct. So we know from this that the answer we will have is x is less than negative 1 and also x is more than 1 over 2. Okay. These are your answers. Alright, question B. Given ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, so that's the quadratic equation, derive the quadratic formula by using completing the square method. So quadratic formula is what? x equals to negative b plus minus square root b square minus, oops, sorry, minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so now we want to derive this formula using completing the square. Okay, so this is what they give. So before we even start, please understand that the coefficient must always be 1. The coefficient of x squared must be 1. So we're going to divide the whole thing by a. Okay, when you divide by a, you will get x squared plus b over a x plus c over a equals to 0. Okay, so now we are going to do completing the square. So how to do completing the square? Remember, big bracket square minus small bracket square and then copy back the constant here plus c over a equals to 0. So what is in the bracket? So here x, just copy back x. Then this one, positive b over a, you're going to divide by 2. So you're going to write here positive b over 2 a okay now you're going to write the same thing in this bracket here so it's also positive b over 2a okay so we're not going to do anything here we won't touch this so we just have to copy back x plus b over 2a square now we're going to simplify this part and then we're going to shift everything to the right hand side Okay, so I'm going to write here negative b square over 4a square plus c over a equals to 0. So I'm going to shift over first. Lah. I'm going to shift over to the right hand side before I uh, simplify. So x plus b over 2a. So I'm not going to touch anything here. I'm only going to shift these two. So it's b square over 4a square minus c over a. So what are we going to do? We want to simplify them, right? So we have to make them become the same denominator. So we're going to multiply this one by 4a. So here, so multiply by 4a. Okay. So we have x 
plus b over 2a square oops equals to so here we get b square so now once i multiply 4a the denominator will be the same so i can combine the top here so i get b square minus 4ac over 4a square all right so now i'm going to shift the square over there so i get square root so x plus b over 2a equals to square root b square minus 4ac over 4a square okay so let me write up here no space all right so what i'm going to shift this to the other side so i get x equals to negative b over 2a so you see huh? the square root i can actually break it to top and bottom okay so on top i can't really do much correct so it's going to be positive square root b square minus 4ac but the bottom i can square root it right if i square root 4a square i get 2a okay so now these two i can combine because the denominator is the same so x equals to negative b now here is square root right square root means it becomes plus minus so plus minus b square minus 4ac over 2a right this is how you solve uh, sorry this is how you derive 